Hello everyone again. Tonight I will use Stellarium and also show you how to use Stellarium to remote control your telescope and your mount. And the reason I'm using Stellarium is that it has a nice feature which allows you to have landscape and realistic landscape and uh, that is very useful if you live in an area or your observatory is in an area where you have a high horizon profile and especially towards the south and that potentially limits the stars and the objects that you would like to observe and this is also my case where I have some large trees towards the south and towards the southeast and also a little bit to the west. And um, I use Stellarium to display that panorama. Now in Astroberry, uh, it's an operating system which has a lot of, lots of software installed. I also have KSTARS and Indy. KSTARS also allows for a profile file to be loaded which i'll do in another video but stellarium has this very nice feature and allows you to display this very realistic landscape that you create from a panoramic um, shot uh, using a camera i did the same for my summer landscape because it's green and it's less it it's blocks more and in the winter you have no leaves you just have the branches and, and potentially you have more visibility. So I have two landscapes, uh, one for the winter season, one for the summer season. And I will show you how to use Stellarium and uh, connect through Indy to the mount and also control it. So let's do that. So here is my Astroberry, I have connected through VNC Viewer and I've installed using the default repositories um, Stellarium, it's version 0 0.18, so it's not the latest version, but it's a version that will do. So it will um, it will be found here in education in Stellarium. So let's start. And you'll notice immediately that the panorama that's loaded is actually the panorama for my observatory. So this is the night sky um, right now. So towards the south, as you can see, I have some, some uh, trees here, potentially blocking some observations. And here, exactly towards the south, towards the uh, meridian line, uh, this is basically the most interesting area of the sky, especially in the summer. I have this tree which blocks a lot. And uh, as you can see, it nicely displays the sky uh, behind the trees, so it allows me to see uh, what's visible, and as you can notice, I have a full moon tonight. And um, just to give you an idea, uh, what is the height of my trees? Go here to the azimuthal grid, and as you can see, it is fairly high. So uh, it is uh, more than uh, 30 degrees, 31 degrees actually here, the top of these trees. And the summer is even higher because it's green and it's about 33 degrees. So this covers a lot of the southern um, meridian section 
Okay, so now <clears throat> Stellarium comes with a telescope control plugin, which is this one. And this is not by default, especially for Astroberry, the 18 version, it's not by default here. So you need to go to configuration window and then plugins and then uh, if you scroll all the way down you will find telescope control which is um, the plugin that you look for and you just tick loaded startup and then it should be visible in the lower menu here. So once you click it, you'll see that there are no active devices. So you'll need to configure the telescope. So <clears throat> I've already done it, but I, I will just remove um, everything so that uh, we have a fresh start. So if we go to add, You've got lots of lots of options um, if you want to connect directly through the um, scene scan controller for instance uh, if it's a sky watcher like like mine I have an eq6 um, and all other options doing a simulator i will use indy and you can check here start at connect and connected startup if you want to automatically connect to the scope, but I won't do that. Then you need to specify the default settings for the Indy server, which usually are these, so you don't need to change anything. And then you'll need to select the device that you would like to connect to. Um, <clears throat> in my case, it's an EQ mode, but as you can see, it's not visible. So um, there is nothing popping up here. And let's give it a name. I'll give it uh, EQ, name it EQ6 or amount. And OK. And there it is. Now I won't be able to connect because I don't have a device to connect to, which is the EQ mod. This is what you will be using to connect to the mount. So to do that, we need to start the Indy server. Now there are no easy ways to start the Indy server. You could do it from the command line. Basically it's Indy server and then you specify the plugin for the EQ mode and it starts EQ mode, but it doesn't have a user interface. Uh, fortunately, KSTARS comes with a nice interface for Indie. So um, obviously we need to go to ECOS. We need to start everything. And as you can see, everything is uh, is up and running. Astrometry, EQ mod. This is what we'll be connecting to to control the GPS. Will start soon, and uh, the mini guiding camera. Head back to Stellarium. <coughs> Now I closed Stellarium because when it minimizes, it minimizes somewhere here and I cannot move it uh, and it blocks everything. So I don't like that. Um, now, if you go to telescope control, we go to configure telescopes and we go to configure again. And now, if we click on refresh devices here, we should see all these 
nice things that we have set up in, on our ECOS profile. So I want the EQ mod mount and I'll click OK. And obviously it's disconnected, I need to connect. So now I can safely connect to my EQ mod and you'll see you'll be able you'll see here the interface where um, you'll be able to control it so let's click connect and there it is connected it was uh, as easy as it um, comes uh, there is one more thing that we did not do we did not unpark the scope so we really need to unpark the scope uh, before doing this. So in this interface, this minimalistic interface, you cannot unpark it. So we can minimize this window. And as you can see, we have this um, uh, really ugly um, thing here, which um, minimizes this all the way up here and you can unmove it. So let's go to ECOS. It's here. Yeah. So uh, under the mount icon in ECOS, you have unpark. And there it is. Now it's unparked. So let's go back to Stellarium. <coughs> Let's maximize it. And let us try and see Jupiter. Then current object. So let's see. And now slew. And it is moving. It is going all the way up, rotating on the declination axis. You actually see it behind me. And there it is, Jupiter. So it went all the way to Jupiter. Now, if we go back to ECOS, let's uh, let's take a snapshot using the guiding camera, and we should have a nice image of the area where we believe Jupiter is. There is a problem with the alignment, obviously. So um, I'll slew to target. So capture and solve and then slew to target and it will try to find it. It will solve the sky and then it will move accordingly towards the target and it will update the <coughs> alignment as it goes within an acceptable error within this green circle. <coughs> so you see how, how big the error is here. Again, number two, there it is. So now it's within nine, 69 arc seconds, still unacceptable. One arc second for the precision. So Jupiter is right in the middle of the guiding scope at this uh, moment. If you go back to Stellarium, you'll see it is here. Now, let us try and see a very nice star, which is 
Beetlejuice. The interface is a bit slow on the Pi. This is why it, it falls back to this minimalistic um, low resolution, few colors image and then slow. You can actually see it moving. Now moves along the right ascension lines and declination when needed. So we've got Beetlejuice. So let's see how close we are to Beetlejuice. <coughs> so again, capture and solve. Two hundred and sixty R seconds. It's still in the image, but it's not centered. Fifty one R seconds. No. Twenty nine R seconds. It's in the middle, and there it is at very low resolution because the Pi is probably loaded, doing lots of stuff. So this is how you control the mount. Using Stellarium and Indy. And as I said, a nice feature is that you have all this panorama, which uh, you see here the trees that allow you to see what's actually visible or not. And it actually looks way better than K stars. So now I will disconnect. I'll close. It's quite dark at this moment in my observatory. I will close Stellarium and I will Go back to Indy <coughs> and uh, no, not Indy. I was confused these things, so many options. I need to go to Mount and then Park, and you will see. So now the mount moves back to its parking position, which is horizontally aiming towards the north geographic pole. So as a month. Zero altitude zero. <clears throat> and there it is. All right, so this is how you use Stellarium and Indy to control your EQ mod telescope. Thank you, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming videos, including live streams from my, from my observatory once I get all the setup ready.